it's Magdalena Wolf of Coins. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're doing well. Um, today I wanted to share with you this deck of mine. It's a pretty new one for me, but I've worked with it a bit already. And I think it's a pretty nice uh, beginner's deck for Lenormand. So yeah, so I wanted to show it because it's fairly cheap and um, a good deck to learn from. So uh, unfortunately, I have no clue who the publisher is. This is a great mystery to me. There is no uh, info whatsoever, either neither on the box or in the little white book inside. It's really weird. But yeah, the title here is Lenormand Fortune Telling Cards According to the Method of Mademoiselle Lenormand with instructions. So yeah, that that's that. And the interesting thing is about it. Oh, look, there is this little white book with this really cute picture of a lady going to a fortune teller. Ain't that amazing? So, yeah, so, and there are instructions, uh, like, short introduction, and then we have all the cards described, and uh, some methods. I didn't look into the book, the little white book, really. I just thought this was really cute. <laughs> And yeah, so so the interesting part is that it has both playing cards in sets and a poem because there are some decks that have either this or that, and this one has both. Plus, the uh, playing card in set is really big, so it's really well visible. These are a little smaller. Oh, can you see? But they are based on uh, traditional uh, meanings of the cards so it's it's interesting and when you're learning it can like help you um, like remember what's the what the cards the card is about what I don't really love about this deck is the card stock it feels pretty cheap plus even though it was foiled look at that it has some like it's somehow dented or I don't know how it happened but yeah in some cards in a couple of the first cards there is something like this and something on the backs but again it was it was cheap it was 28 slotties I didn't check how much in dollars it is but something four times less I guess so it's not an expensive deck and I love the imagery. It's so like it's classic. Uh, it's pretty. I wish only the car, uh, the cardstock was better. The backs are not too awesome, <laughs> not too interesting. But let's have a look at the deck. So yeah, so so we get like also even the title. There's, I'm pretty sure there is a version of this deck in French as well. I've seen it around the internet a lot, but this is, I don't speak French, so, you know, this is a perfect choice for me, even though I got uh, with my order, because I ordered from a Polish store, uh, I got a translation into Polish. So I even have this translated into Polish together with my deck. If I use the little white book, that is. Anyway, it can always be helpful. You never know. So we have everything. We have the number, the playing card inset, which is big, really well visible. So it's helpful for you when you're starting to remember. Um, yeah, to remember and, and notice the playing card inset. And, and there's this poem and even the title of the card, Cavalier. So number one, there is this beautiful clover here. And it's here is called Clover Leaf. Then there's the ship. The house. Very classical images. Tree. 
clouds and I will put this aside because there is one complaint I have about this deck and it it's about the clouds card there is the snake card and look at how big these people here are it is very good for practicing using a playing card in sets and also for um, seeing the people in the cards so this doesn't have to be only clouds it can be about an older man who is who might not be our friend or something like that uh, so yeah then there is the coffin bouquet scythe very beautiful classical images rod or whip Look at the Jack. <laughs> I love his helmet. Birds. Child. Oh, it's called Little Fox. I actually didn't even pay attention to the names on the cards. But yeah, it's a little fox. Well, it's a fox with, with her young or his young little fox puppies cubs or whatever you call them kittens <laughs> no bear star it's star but there are many stars there are, there is a lot of water in this deck see even more water with stork and look at those beautiful playing cards there is dog your companion, the playful dog, is faithful and friendly every day, at least as long as he is close to you and from the cloud far away. So it's um, a very traditional way of reading Lenormand, uh, depending on how far or near from you, from your significator, the card is. It's the near-far uh, method and it's reflected in those poems. Tower garden mountain very like yeah that's the mountain that's easy that's clear road but it's a fork so it's good because that's what it's about about making decisions and yeah that the path that goes into different directions Mice, heart, ring, book, letter, gentleman, lady, and they look at each other. If you're curious, they don't look in the like when they are in the orders so on twenty eight, twenty nine. They are looking into different directions, but they are able to look at each other. Lily. Sun. And look what's on my sun. Can you, can you see? Oh, right now. See? I don't know what happened. It was like a deck of cards in foil. <laughs> no clue. But yeah, I love this sun card. It's so, so pretty. Just, I, I just love it. And it's like it's big you can tell it's the sun it's not mountains or anything or clouds or anything else it's a, like a really bright sun moon again with water but the moon card is of, often with water it makes sense key fish anchor and cross really really good for beginners except for this look at these two cards this is clouds and fish and we have two kings they are different because you can see the symbol of the suit but it's not the first thing you look at you have a person here and you have some water and for me, these cards are too similar. The clouds are very, very pale. So when I when I like get this card and I look at it, and I I'm not 
instantly sure which card it is. Of course, if I use this deck more, I will get used to it. But what's important in Lenormand deck is that it's like instantly you know what you have because you have to look at a lot of cards at a time and a grand tableau. So you shouldn't be forced to search oh, where are the clouds or where are the fish? So these are really similar cards and it's it surprises me that in such a clear deck you get something like that. I even have half the mind to like put some ink on it to make the clouds darker. <laughs> so I could even like create darker side of the clouds on this side. But yeah, why? Why do that? So yeah, this is this deck, fortune telling cards, and and I like it a lot. I'm using this pretty often these days. And this is how they shuffle. It's not hard to shuffle. It's just the cards that doesn't seem really durable. But I thought it's um, if you're thinking about buying a beginner's deck, it's it's a pretty nice one, except for the clouds and fish. But that's the only thing you need to pay attention to. Uh, what do you think about it? And what's your favorite beginner's Lenormand deck? I would love to know. Uh, thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Bye.